my name is The Beefmeister, and today we are resuming the Headliner Novi News. This is part 5. It's actually going to be a double part, and I'll probably have another double part following this one just to uh, catch up for all the days I'm missing. But today is day 5, and it is Saturday. For that incident yesterday, the genetic plague has led unstable behavior, but not like this. Six people ended their lives, just like that. Like it was nothing. Like. Sorry. When I was younger, my sister, she. Sorry, we should keep it professional. One way or another, we have a job to do. People are already on the edge, but this. This is going to shake our nation. Everyone will be looking to our broadcast for, tonight for answers. We can paint whatever picture we want. <laughs> we need to. We we'll probably need to calm the call. Is it right to pacify people if it means spreading misinformation? Regardless, people need an answer. Something to pin the blame on, something to make them feel safer. Nothing is scarier than the unknown. What we publish, our readers will believe. We control the news, we control the truth. I hope you make the right calls, headliner. Oh, and your payment today is 50. Good day. I'm still making the exact same. Oh, nationalized healthcare. Better buzz kills jumpers under the influence. Shocking events of last night lead the police scrambling for common link. All six jumpers were found to have attended Better Buzz launch party. The drink corp failed to disclose their new beverage could lead to a manic sense of invulnerability. Genetic medication might have triggered the incident. Last night, six individuals ended their lives in desperation. A shocking example of epidemic of rational behavior spread through Namstan. While biopsies are still incomplete, Evidence suggests uh, genetic medication might have triggered an extreme manic. Breaking news! National healthcare bill passes. With a narrow margin, Bill HC42 passed this morning, guaranteeing all Navistan nationals equal and affordable access to healthcare. That's not an article because it's white, right? Oh, it is. I mean, it's good to tell people, I guess. Attempted robbery leaves one dead. A foreign looking male with a thick Learsen accent. A quick mart last night threatening patrons with an unidentified weapon. Brief struggle led to a fatal injury. No VPD is investigating. This is quick mart the one I go to. Uh, okay, and then. We don't tell the public anything. <laughs> Get me out of here. <laughs> Publishing false information, riling up the crowd, distorting facts. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> Sparking a riot. I was stand bigger than the Union. Tragedy shook our nation, caused by faulty bad media ignores this threat. We must respond with strident sanctions, we must hold theirs accountable. Not listen to those who muddy the waters. I don't like you, Mr. Prime Minister. Those onion meds, it must be true. Where's, um, Eve? Just gallon. Healthcare is a basic. 50% off sale. Yeah, they help you focus like crazy. That's probably not the proper use of meds. Hospital. Come on. Oh, there's a long line for this. Big Pharma greed kills. Greetings, headliner. The incident of last night was no accident. Big Pharma makes for a convenient scapegoat, but there are greater forces at play. There'll be a special article in your batch tomorrow. Publish it. This is not the time for questions, this is time for actions. Do the right thing, headliner. Now is the time for action. <laughs> People must know. Where's my coworker at? Uh oh, oh hello. Alright, I'm not in a very chatty mood today. Still a little shaken about those suits. 
I had side of my store too. I tested genetic drugs, messing with people's heads. Five lives gone just like that. Was it five? I thought it was six. It was just five. I don't even want to think about it. Well, I'll let you go now with your shopping. Anything you'd like? Uh... Wait, this guy's charging me 15 for better buzz? What the heck? Vintage computer. Limited time. Broken, but looks cool. Prove you know how to use a computer. This probably allows me to do something that I couldn't do, but that sounds dumb. Why on earth would I waste money on a broken computer? I'm broke. I, I should probably be like saving up and getting like a couch or something, but... Eh. Who the heck is... Th oh yeah, my brother. I'm like a sailor. Hey bro, you came in just in time for food. I made... Vigo's following grandma's recipe and it's been steeping for the past four hours. I made some uh, venison this morning. That was really good. The cabbage should have soaked up all the sausage and spices by now. I'm vegetarian. I'm starving. Let's go. Grab a bowl and let's chat while we eat. Hmm. Hot. Hmm. I like how I didn't sit down at the table. <laughs> oh, by the way, they should let me crash. I'll be out on Sunday. No worries. It's really been helping me focus. I've been writing my butt off coming up with stuff for the comedy show. I'm feeling really pumped. But hey, you're coming, right? Of course. Sweet. You're awesome, bro. Man, that whole incident on the roof yesterday. I saw your channel was quick to pin the blame. Unexpected medication side effects? I guess it's easier to blame something than have a real conversation. What do you think about those seven jumpers? Okay, so how many were there? <laughs> Five, six, seven. I'm pretty sure I've heard of them. I don't think they're thinking clearly or manipulating. Uh, went to some weird drugs? I don't know, sometimes. Sometimes I can relate to why someone might just want to end it all. What's wrong, man? I don't know. I mean, on paper, everything is going well, but somehow I just feel all the time. Today, while you're gone, all I want to do is sit down and write. I just hated it. I hated writing, I hated not writing, I hated playing with your dog. I don't think it matters what I do anymore. Everything just feels... awful. I used to believe that. This too shall pass. And here we are seven years later. Everything was great growing up, but somewhere along the lines, things I enjoyed just stopped being enjoyable. I tried new things, hobbies, travels, adventures. So gradually I ran out of things to try. And you know what the cherry on top of the craft cake is? Not enough resources to get help? No, that's relatable. Bingo! Therapy and meds, heck, even basic hospital care is prohibitively expensive. Even if I wanted to get help, I would not be able to get it without. There's enough of my wine, it's time for a change. I've been too afraid to check the news yet, but I decided that if this new healthcare bill passes, I'm gonna go into therapy. Good. Yeah. Anyways, how's the date? You mentioned something about that. It went terrible. <laughs> it went great. Right on, that's awesome. I'm really happy for you, bro. I mean at least one of us is having good luck. Um All you have to do is put yourself out there and hope for the best. I guess. Unless just being yourself isn't really going anywhere. <laughs> yeah, I'm just broken. <laughs> anyway, you're probably tired of the serious talk after the whole day. I'll let you crash and brainstorm some new ideas. I got some better buzz by the, on the way. Feel free to have some. I'm good now. Maybe later if the mood strikes. Don't worry about the dishes, I'll do them later. Oh, and I fed the doggo and petted it to... Oh, it should be a little happy pup. Not time to get back riding. Have a good night. Oh, he got food. Shoot. Dang it. I, I wasted money. I could have I could have saved. Today I feel ponderous. Heavy in thought. You look happy. Alright, here you go. I have a treat, because uh What's that? I had to blend the blend on something. It's the right thing to do, right? Like what? 
Oh, stop. Wait, he he got dog food. But I bought dog food. Unless I put my dog food in. The price of watermelon is scheduled to go up in three months to counter increased demand. Isn't it fascinating that we can schedule how much we will want watermelon three months from now? Celebrity singer Tima Grinspan is rumored to make an appearance at the Galaxian Festival. What a wonder festival they will have this year. That's the end of our show. <gasps> As always, sleep soundly, listener. Dang it, I thought he was going to do that stinking phrase that I always miss on. Is that the food I bought or is that the food he did? He done diddly did. I don't even know. Alright. Day 6. Sunday. It's the weekend episode. Evening, Strogsana. We got a letter from the Navistan Department of Information. They're keeping an eye on our publication. We need to find the facts before we get them. Hmm. Nobody cares about real facts anymore. Only what the status quo believes in. Your standard payment today is 50. One more thing. Today we have a bit of an empty issue. Extra space to fill. You must approve at least two articles. I left a note on your desk. Hope it helps. Any stapled articles do not count towards the quota. You don't have to worry about those. I have a product. Oh, Ms. Rivera called in sick today, but hasn't checked in. I've seen you two chatting a bit after work. Maybe you should check on her at the hospital. Good day. Whoa. Whoa. The, the, the person that was sitting here just, <laughs> just up and left. Approved men too. The truth between behind genetic illness, the sickness spreading through Navistan is not natural. The suicides are no accident. Genetic markers indicate the disease is engineered by man. It is time you all ask his pull the strings. Yo, yo, whoa. <laughs> uh, Lear sanctions is what hurt us more. Despite nationalistic claims, imposing sanctions on Lear's over dubious violations would actually hurt our economy more, especially hitting hard, low-income citizens. Stop fearing the pills. It's time for the stigma to end. In the age where we can rely on caffeine and painkillers on a daily basis, there's no reason why a simple happy pill should be any less acceptable. Okay. You shouldn't be relying on painkillers and caffeine every day anyway. Builds bad habits. Better buzz perpetuates addiction. Addiction is much more chemical as psychological. Switching to a safer substance only gives us an excuse to keep indulging in our habits. Don't be fooled by the clever slogans. I think we sold out though. Alright, we'll prove these and then we'll just prove yours. And then we're gonna. We're like flipping on our stances. Scheming propaganda. Muckraking. Don't drink and drive. Who is this? Oh, is this that dude that I gave money to a long time? Oh, you spare a tenner for food? Haven't I seen you before? Oh my, yes, you're kind enough to help me out the other day. May I trade your generosity for more of my story? I'm not sure why not. What do we have to lose? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Where was I? Ah, uh, yes, fresh college dropout with an ailing leg and barely any cash. Worked a few odd jobs here and there. Barista at Dunavox, a construction worker down south. I can only afford to pay interest on my loan, so I stopped in perpetual debt. Until the rate went up and, well, here I am, three years later with no cash, no education, no credit score. Anything I can do? I already paid for my dear day, and that's more than most. I'm working on getting my feet back on the ground, eventually. Thank you for stopping by to listen to me and help. By the way, my name is Henry. I hope to see you again. It means a lot to not be forgotten. Bioterrorists. Oh, look at that guy. Oh, yeah. That's the good stuff right there. <laughs> Moth lead the way. Big farmer, greed kills. Oh, yeah. That's the good stuff right there, too. Spare some change. I can't give you money, too, apparently. But apparently, you can follow me. Okay, this is getting weirder. I'm gonna start running. Come on, this thing's taking forever. 
Look at all the picketers. Wake up, sheeple! The disease is man-made. Oh my goodness. Evie. Oh. Hey, hey, Jürgenheim. It's nice to see you. Oh, uh, what happened? I was on my way to work this morning and just fainted. It's happened before, but this time was much worse. I was supposed to get re-upped on my medication yesterday. With all the boycotts, I missed my dose. Well, at least they f this way they finally rushed to my lab work and gave me a diagnosis. I have MRS, Modification Rejection Sickness. My body is rejecting all my modified cells and attacking them like an autoimmune disease. Oh, this is really bad. Shouldn't have gotten the cheap knockoffs! Hey. <laughs> Is it treatable? There's some options. Thankfully, there's medication that can make it bearable. What would really make a difference, the high-end stuff tends to be really pricey. But if I can keep my current salary at Novi News, I can at least get some decent meds. Oh, I caught a piece off our last broadcast. Something about this plague being engineered? I don't have a big conspiracy nut, but what if this has to do with my health issues? Anyways, I have a lot to think about, though. Thanks for checking in on me, Jürgenheim. Night. I later, dude. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff right there. Oh yeah. Holy, did you read the news? Do you think this plague is a terrorist attack? Your answer is as good as mine, dude. I only I only curate the news. Howdy again, neighborhood headliner. Hope you're having a good week. Things have been a bit rough. Everyone's on edge these days. And that Dunabai is stealing my regulars. At least Better Buzz seems decently popular with people. Well, I tell you, running your own business is never easy peasy. I, I don't have an opinion on these matters. <laughs> Those who work hard will be rewarded. Survival of the fittest. Yeah, I like to think so. But people don't need decisions in a vacuum. The right message at the right time can have profound consequences. I met my wife that way, in fact. Nearly 20 years ago, I was walking down the street when someone angrily yells my name. <laughs> Rudy! I turn around and see this gorgeous woman. When I asked what she wanted, it sounds as she was saying, Broody. But if it wasn't for that little misunderstanding... I don't have an opinion on these matters. <laughs> That's amazing! Funny how our entire life can be shaped in a split-second moment. And you wonder about all these infinite possibilities. Well, enough out of this sappy old man. Guess that what happens when you become a dad for a few years, huh? <laughs> Speaking of families, you have a brother, don't you? He stopped by the other day. He was loitering around the drinks and snacks for over half an hour. Finally left without buying anything. He just seemed a little lost, I guess. It's none of my business, but just thought you should not. Ooh, that's not great. Family should stick together. But at least he wasn't one of those crazies coming in and babbling about some disease conspiracy. <laughs> what nonsense. Anyways, thanks for hearing me out. I'll let you shop. Anything you'd like? You paint your walls on a whim, thanks to polarized pigment. That's kind of cool. Oh, well, clearly not, because I can't afford anything. Sure, we'll get a dog treat. And we'll go home. Oh, that's the good stuff. Oh yeah, that's more of the good stuff. Oh, there's another person up top there. Are we good? Why is there a guy just standing on the roof? Local pharmacy ran out of mood X. Oh man. Oh man. Where's my brother at? Oh, he's still here, okay. How do I feel today? Today, I feel tired. <laughs> Look happy. Here you go. What's that? Oh yeah. You think Justin really has what it takes? I think so too. He's gonna do great. If you're really concerned about the new drugs being genetically engineered, you should probably stop eating those tomatoes. Where do we draw the line? By the way, have you seen strange men in trench coats recently, dear listener? I heard Dunabai had a sale. If my mad dribble bored you to sleep, you're in luck, dear listener. The end. Sleep soundly. Let's 
guy's lost his mind. It'd still be good for a day or two. Oh, hey, you're gonna have... Guess what? I qualified for my first therapy session under the new health plan. Anyways, I've been so worried about the healthcare debate and my comedy show that I've been so out of the loop on my own news. I saw our PM giving the telecast and some people talking. What's going on? Now I'll stand stern as something special. Oh yeah? we have always been hell bent on capitalism. God forbid we let other countries outdo us. Hmm. The news seems supportive of our leaders. What do you really think of Prime Minister Wolf? With mods erasing faulty genes, it's surprising he's even alive now. <laughs> I suppose that's a fair assessment. I've already seen people talking, taking to the streets. Things seem to be getting a little bit crazy. What time to be alive, huh? I'm saying as a paragon of sanity compared to our neighbors. It's train wreck you can't look away from with the passengers. Well, at least we got front row seats. Anyways, thanks for indulging me. Good to stay informed. If I want to be relevant, my show is scheduled for Tuesday. Still, so much to prep to do. Ugh. I bet you have your fair share of worries with all the news and pressures. <laughs> I don't know. I just stamped. <laughs> People freak out. <laughs> I guess it's kind of funny if you look at what you do actually in a vacuum. I wonder if you get better results if you just flip the coin. I guess I can relate a wee bit. My comedy shtick, always putting yourself in front of others, being independent, yet also dependent on everyone's opinions. It can be really soul crushing sometimes. I always got to pretend I'm the happy go lucky comedian. But I'm glad I could at least talk to you about it. Thanks for listening to my rant last night. Oh, but I have my first appointment tomorrow. I'm a bit nervous, but it can't hurt, right? Maybe my problems really are that genetic sickness going around. Genetic blues or something like that. I hear it can really mess up your brain chemistry. And that articles in your paper talk about it. I heard all sorts of theories from Big Pharma to the drones spraying us while we sleep. Whatever it is, it's definitely unsettling. Anyway, I really should finish the first draft of my lineup tonight, so I'll let you go. Some guy at the bar suggesting I try Better Buzz to help my creativity. Feel free to have some if you'd like. I won't finish the whole bottle by myself. Oh, and I'll be out tomorrow morning, so thanks again for letting me stay. It was a lifesaver. Where do you stay otherwise? Where do you live? <laughs> I think we talked about this, but I honestly don't remember. Alright. That was his last look, see it changed. Let's have a glass. Oh, just kidding, we can't drink. It's a lie. Actually, where, he, where is he sleeping? If I sleep on this tiny twin size mattress. What? <laughs> what? Alright. What the heck, we'll go one more day. Evening, Strahd Snob. I was checking our channel yesterday. <laughs> what was that article about some cookie conspiracy? We don't publish third party articles. Keep that filth out of Novi News. This was the first time an unapproved article has slipped by, so I'll let this slide. Don't make that mistake again. Three strikes and you're out. Your standard payment today is 50. This evening's broadcast is a bit difficult. We have a limited number of spots. You can't approve more than three articles. Again, a note's on your desk. Remember that staples articles don't count towards the quota. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Mr. Strogsonoff, in the age of genetic threats, our security and leadership depends on all elements of our nation, including strong principled press. It is reassuring your channel supports our efforts if the people cannot trust their government to protect and promote welfare, all is lost. Keep the public informed, headliner. Warm regards. Ah, right, get the heck out of here, wolf. Tragic stabbing among neighbors. A Navistinian teen was stabbed by here early this morning after heated dispute. Childhood friends who have been neighbors with each other for generations. Why is there so many articles? Okay. Head better bus cure PTSD. A preliminary clinical trials performed by Drinko suggest that active ingredients in Better Buzz could enhance treatment of post-traumatic stress disorder in conjunction with traditional psychotherapy. Better Buzz medicinal purposes, unlike traditional alcohol, the relaxing effects of Better Buzz could have healing properties. A growing number of uh, researchers at Novostan Institute of Public is suggesting for medical use. Wait, these are the 
These basically say the same thing, and they're stapled together. What the heck? Can't even stamp them. That was Stan Asylum needs to be saved. Now a house for the troubled has served the community for decades, helping homeless individuals with mental illness find shelter. And yet, it is next in line on the budgetary chopping block. We cannot let it happen. We need investors to step up and preserve the house. Oh, wolf sanctions necessary to send a message, but Lear's continually disregarding our calls to review the quality of their modification manufacturing plants. Havistan must pursue harsher methods of persuasion. Wolf to profit from sanctions. While Wolf proclaims sanctions would protect our national interest, many of his closest colleagues have vested stock in local modification companies. Could our Prime Minister's motives be <laughs> driven by personal financial gains? Why, he? Why do you have to take these controversial articles? Why can't you pick, like, simple stuff? I don't want to publish this one. Oh, this is Max after publish this three. Asylum's important. <laughs> Thank you, headliner. We need to trust our government. Ka chow! <laughs> Do we publish that one too, just to be like super wishy-washy? Oh, can I undo a stamp? I can't even undo a stamp. It, it's game over, guys. We done goofed. <laughs> We're trolling now. <laughs> We're taking such a bad stance. We're like, we're on the fence on all of this. People are just gonna stop reading my... <laughs> They're gonna kill me. <laughs> oh. Hey, you're gonna have. Nice to see you. I still feel a bit nauseous since I fainted. The correct term is nauseated, by the way. Nauseous is the state of making others nauseated. The doctors refused to put me on trial for the new genetic meds because of all the bad press around me. Ugh, I hope something else comes out soon. Ah, hope you can get them soon. Thanks. Hmm, the epidemic is really getting out of hand in Austin. All the conspiracy talk is making people more paranoid. Or maybe we're all just getting old. <laughs> Can't go and party as much as back in my old college days, huh? You're a party animal? <laughs> I would describe myself that way, but I went to a few here and there. Maybe we should party together sometime. Hmm. Now think about it. College parties actually taught me a lot about people. And how to get on their good side. Kind of important when you're a reporter. <laughs> That's also how I got started on my card collecting addiction. How's that come along? Actually, I might have some new opportunities. Trying to get the boss to approve a report in Makrabi. The world's first airship, AA Kursky, crashed somewhere in the region during its maiden voyage. It's the 130th anniversary of the event, so I want to run a special about the history of international travel. I pick up some rare regional Makrabi cards if I can. Anyway, I might work some more from the cafe. I feel a bit safer walking home at night. People seem to be staring at me less these days. Have a good night you're gonna have. You wanna see my brother's show with me tomorrow? Oh sure, that sounds fun. See you tomorrow you're gonna have. What does the news know anyway? Sanctions, trade agreements, it's all so confusing. It's like they can't keep the story straight. I can't keep the story straight. Because I don't like the dude. They poisoned us. I actually totally misstamped those pages. <laughs> That's been a struggle ever since that episode. I'm oh, sorry, thanks for opening me up tonight. Hey, you're good now. I ran to you. Thanks for letting me crash for the weekend. I'm listening to my dumb dribble last night. I kind of feel embarrassed. Oh, don't be. Aw, oh, thanks, bro. Just had my first therapy appointment. It's early to tell, but I like the guy. He knows when to push my buttons or when to shut up and just let me talk. It's good to have someone you can just dish out to. Yeah, it's really... It feels like part of that weight is lifted when you get all out, you know? Anyways, I mean to ask you for another little favor. So I told you I'm performing for my comedy show tomorrow, right? A lot of people check your news, so it would help if you, a ton if you could uh, put in a little plug about it, attract a bigger crowd. <laughs> I get three strikes, right? <laughs> Here's a short piece about it. If you decide to publish it tomorrow, no pressure, it takes either way. 
I'll still keep reading your columns. If I remember catching something about mugheads at Robert's in your newsletter, it seems like it's mostly foreigners, huh? Puts me on edge whenever I pass through ethnic neighborhoods. No, it's mostly the non-Vestinian citizens. <laughs> anyway, I need to get running. Still need to do another pass on my script. Okay, here's a quickie. One cigarette shortens your life by two hours, one bottle of Better Buzz by three hours, and a work day. Eight hours. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. I catch you later, bro. Stop by the bar tomorrow for my show. For a good time, call Big Ben. No shame in meds, we are all broken. Oh, shoot. What the heck? I totally almost got hit. I tried to like spin around real quick. Go home, Denizen. That actually scared me. I tried to dodge it because I thought I was gonna get hit. Sir, are you all right? <laughs> nah, dude. I'm yes, game over. I'm dead. Oh, I, I nearly died, but I'm great. Just some scratches and bruises. Hmm, please take it easy, that was a close one. I'd suggest getting checked out just in case, but the hospital has been severely understaffed. Anyway, please go home and get plenty of rest. We don't have many units to investigate right now, but I'll see what we can do. We'll let you know uh, should we need further details. Good night, citizen. What's up with all these people? I have feel these weird tremors in my hands. Get away from me! Oh, who is who's this? Oh, this is the shopkeeper and his daughter. This is the cemetery. Is he visiting his his wife? Shop's closed today. The man's got to enjoy at least one day off, right? Work smart, not hard. Darn right. Gotta focus your efforts on what really matters in this economy. I like to come here on my day off. My little gal just loves flying drones. Oh, this is just the park. Ask her to stack some boxes and they fall apart in five minutes. But drones, she can do all sorts of tricks with. I guess it's a good thing. A career in drone engineering would be uh, would set her for life. It's these days, eh? Children are the bane of my existence. <laughs> Children are in the future. Here, here. My little girl comes up to me the other day and says, Papa, can I have some mood X? I thought, huh, how do you know about that? She caught some pieces in the news about it and got all curious. At first, she thought they were candy, but then she realized they're used to help people. Kids are so impressionable these days. You never really control the kids here. Yeah, you just hope that some of the good messages you put in their heads stick. I just wanted to have a happy childhood, you know? The store's future is so uncertain with the current mood in the country. Hopefully the Lear sanctions help level out the playing field a little. But you know, ever since we started offering better buzz, we've been having more shady types come by. A few times I've had to shoo them away from hanging out in front of my store. It's just a fad. It's just that that makes better. I guess these kind of things come and go. Well, enough of my battling. Those are our problems to worry about. You look a bit tired, so I'll let you go now. Hope to see you at the store tomorrow. Yeah, dude, I'm a regular. Okay, let's go home before something else happens. Oh, hey, look. Careful who you trust. Yo, is this drone following me? Yo, what the heck? Scanning. 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 Hey there, little guy. Beep, boop. Wanna come along? Registering new license. Complete. Beep, boop. Wait, what the heck? <laughs> You're Justin's brother, aren't you? I'm Cassie, the bartender uh, at the pub. He's gonna be performing a show tomorrow. He's gonna do great. Yeah, he's a really funny dude. I know he's anxious about performing and, you know, actually attracting a crowd. Hmm. I could put out some feelers, set up a bit of promo, you know? Like if you wanna sponsor some free drinks, that'll help fill the space. How much are we talking about? 150. How the heck am I supposed to get 150? What 
there's all these people throwing up outside my apartment. This neighborhood's really gone down since I first started living here, you know? It's awful what they've done to the community. Today I feel ponderous. There was a truck accident a couple minutes ago. The police are investigating. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> what are they? All right, dude, there's no treats. Another news. I was excited to hear rumors that the uh, new genetic juice drugs uh, boost sexual performance. Uh, who am I kidding? I haven't gotten laid since 2038. Thank you for listening to Frank Tales with Franklin, where we dissect what happened today. Good night, Namaste. I don't remember what year it is. Oh, oh, you look really happy. Hey there, buddy. Oh, oh, sorry, no treat today. Hmm. Bro, the store was closed. A treat, words of wisdom. Now it's in house for the trouble. It'd still be good. I got a drone now. Thank you for licensing me, master. How should I refer to you? <laughs> master Jurgenheim, Jurgenheim Chan. Lord Master Jurgenheim the third. You're gonna have fine. Ever see a long and lasting bond between human and machine? Yep. My energy levels are adequate. Feed me batteries. I don't have any. I'm displeased, but my program prohibits me from pursuing punitive actions against my license. I shall resume my regular patrols. Wait, what the heck? I... What? I adopted a drone? <laughs> what? What are these? Is this is this cash on my van? Well, I'm gonna take a pause here. The next episode's gonna be something. All right. So thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. This is actually a three-part special, all in one. It was the weekend and then Monday, cause uh, everybody hates Mondays. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys around.